Hey, what's up, you guys? Tim is back with another LinkedIn's video. Today, we have a fragrance from Paris Corner, the Mere Factory lineup. But before we get into that, just want to say thank you guys again. It is an honor to be playing on one of those electronic devices, whether it's that cell phone, that tablet, that laptop, that Macintosh, that brand new big screen TV, whether you watch me at home, at work, on a plane, a train, or an automobile. Maybe you'll watch me right now heading to some families' houses, uh, maybe you're getting ready to go visit some people. I don't know. Maybe you got an extra few days off before the Christmas season comes up. If you guys are on your way over there and you're actually watching me, it is an honor. And if you guys are new to this channel, you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, comment, and like. Likes are very important. Likes, likes are very important because if likes weren't around, we wouldn't be doing this hobby. We wouldn't be collecting these gazillion bazillion fragrances we don't need these many fragrances but we like them so likes are very important as far as these channels growth and that collection so anyways let's finally get into this now with christmas being pretty much right around the corner as we speak besides maybe burberry london maybe there's some others you know there's one fragrance that i mean when you think of christmas i mean you can't go wrong with this one and that would be this by the fireplace. Now you guys know this is the replica Mason Margiela. This is a, a fragrance that is pretty much like a, it's more of like a burning wood. Some people say it's like smoky. I think it's more of just like a nice soft burning wood smell. You get a little bit of that sweetness and stuff like that. A little bit of that chestnuts, get a little bit of that clove, a little bit of spice. And this fragrance just epitomizes the holiday season if you will and i'm gonna spray that over here okay because we gotta we gotta use this for test purposes today okay so let's spray this over here mason margella by the way thank you mr dustin shaw go check that guy out ds fragrances i'll leave the description down below you already know this one a smoky woody burning wood sensation this just smells like, you know, you're going to be sitting by that fire, maybe the fireplace with all the friends, you know, maybe there's something cooking in the stove, some pies and some turkeys and all that stuff. And you just get all of these beautiful aromas in the air when you're sitting around that, that, that fireplace, if you will, nice burning wood fireplace, unless you got one of those gas ones that you just flick the switch and the next thing you know it's on then you won't really get the same sensation but if you got a nice burning wood fireplace then you know what i'm talking about oh, man that that is literally like being at a fireplace okay fireplace fire pit whatever however you want to call it that is that now when it came to finding something similar to that if you didn't have the money the mason margella 130 dollars that they're asking for the next best thing would be to get this one, Amir Al Oud. Okay, this is a Latafa fragrance right here. Beautiful bottle, okay? Heavy bottle, beautiful cap. Everything about this, I'm gonna spread this over here on the left hand, okay? So here we go. Pardon me, guys, that is the dog. No, that's not an earthquake, okay? It's been a while since I actually smelled this one, guys. Um, now, I think off the top, like when you smell it from the bottle, yes, they're similar, but they're not really identical, in my opinion. I, I don't think it's... This one's definitely got more of that smokiness that I really like. That smoky, that burning wood sensation. This has kind of more... It has that woody sensation, but it doesn't give me that burning effect, if that makes any sense. That, that burning wood. It gives you everything else that this one does, but it just doesn't give you that burning wood sensation. Definitely get that wood, get a little bit of spice, a little bit of slight vanilla cake. Okay? Honestly, honestly, I don't even think it's close. Now, maybe in the air it's close, but on the skin, honestly, besides a little bit of, you know, you can say, hey, this one's kind of going into that direction. Other than that, honestly, I would not tell you to get this one, okay? Now, if you want it just for as is, you know, a nice fragrance, nice woody kind of spicy fragrance, nothing that's cloning. That's why I don't like to do these uh, videos comparing things because some of us, our noses work a little different, okay? 
I smell one thing, you might smell another thing. That's why I don't do these comparisons. Just take these fragrances for what they are. Obviously, there's why are we even comparing when we got 300 bottles? I'm pretty sure a lot of those things in that 300 bottles smell similar. So what's the point? Okay, let's just go based off of what we're smelling. Do we like it? Does it smell good? Is it going to get the job done? Yes, this is going to get the job done. But if you're looking something close to this, I would steer you away from this. This To me, it almost smells like it has leather in it too. I don't think there is leather in here, but there's a smell in here that I'm not really the biggest fan of. And when I did a video on this one, I was just like, okay, it's it's okay. I don't get the hype on this one, but by the fireplace is hype worthy, okay? Especially if you like that burning wood campfire sensation. Now, if you do have a little bit more money, okay? This one sometimes retails for $55. Sometimes you get lucky, you go on fragrancebuy.ca. If it's still there, I'll leave the description down below and you get this one for like 34. This is that Amir factory edition. This is the campfire so you can already see they're going in that same direction this one has them cloves pink pepper orange blossom we got that chestnut that woods that juniper we got some vanilla peru balsam and then we got some cashmere okay so we got all that again this is you know that that's just crazy thing is they give you the same box as a lilabo box or looks similar to that but then it's uh a clone of mason margella even though mason margella has almost pretty much you know, it doesn't have the note breakdown on the bottle, but it pretty much tells you what uh, to expect. So I guess in that sense, they kind of went that direction. But why give this box? Give me something that looks similar to a Mason Margiela box, even though those boxes are just plain and not all that good. But you're paying like $140 for it. So who knows? Now, again, honestly, I don't think that Amir Al Oud is a good enough clone honestly i would tell you to steer away from that again especially if you're looking for something that smells similar to that fireplace or something that's as close i don't think it's close at all it gives you that similarity maybe but after that it's it's not that close you guys so here we go maybe this one does the trick okay we open it up boom we get rid of the box we toss it to the side look at that look at that even the juice the juice is almost very similar. This one's just a little bit darker, okay? This has more of an orange color, okay? So as you can see, this one is probably closer as far as color-wise, okay? Even this one's a little bit more darker, okay? So this one's the darkest, I think. This one is kind of like right in between, and then this one is almost an orange, like an orange soda. So uh, who knows what this one will smell like? Let's see if it's any better. I'm, yeah, I really, yeah, that's not even close, you guys, that Amir Al Oud. Um, I would stay away from that one. Again, if you want something that's similar to Campfire um, by the fireplace, stick away from Amir Al Oud, okay? Just get it for what it is, but don't go in there expecting uh, something that's very much the same. But here we go. Let's see if this one's any different. Nice, big old blast of juice. Ooh, I'm kind of getting almost this nutty smell in the air, okay? Now, this one smells different as well. It's not a, right away, it's not a clone. This, I, you know what? I like this one more. This one kind of has that burning wood, but it almost kind of smells a little bit with that spice, that clove and stuff. It almost kind of smells butterscotchy almost to me. So butterscotchy and burning wood, if you think of that. Ooh, nice and warm and spicy. Okay, these three are all different, okay? And honestly, neither one of these pretty much is a replica of by the fireplace, okay? Now they might say they might have the same notes, but here's the thing. Some of these might have the same notes, but they could use a little bit more of the uh, chestnut oils in here. Maybe they used a little bit more of the cloves in here compared to by the fireplace. Maybe the fireplace went more with the woods, the woody oils. Who knows? They are different, okay? This one is not close, okay? Now, if you want something that's probably closer, just go with the Alexandria, maybe go with the Dua. 
go with damp or go with go with any one of those okay maybe those ones are a little bit better i haven't smelt them yet but when it comes to this this is kind of in a league of its own okay it smells that dang good that warm again burning wood sensation which is very nice this is literally sitting by that campfire sitting by the fireplace Man, again, I'm kind of digging this one the most, though. That, again, it almost kind of smells butterscotchy with a little bit of that woods. Okay, that could just be that clove, a little bit of that, um, what else is in this damn thing? Chestnuts and stuff like that. A little bit of that orange blossom, maybe kind of giving it that little bit of sweetness, that kind of citrusy freshness. Honestly, this is my least favorite of the three. And it's not bad, but it's, you know, this one, even though this one is different too, this one is, to me, a little bit closer than this one to this, okay? Now, again, they do smell different. And again, you know, it's just all a matter of opinion. You know, again, this is just all of a matter of what they put in here more. Again, maybe they could have used a little bit more of that orange blossom. Maybe that's why that's more orange and this one's more brown. Who knows, okay? But the thing is, this one smells good, you guys. And, you know, for $34, if you can get it on fragrancebuy.ca. If you can't, I'll leave another description down below where you can get it. Man, for 55 bucks, even if this is 55 bucks, Man, that's nice. It's almost... Uh, butterscotchy caramelly and that nice burning wood that nice slow burning wood sensation it's not super woody just punching your mouth woody like how the campfires okay this one has that woody straight burning wood okay this has more of that mellow soft kind of again sweet almost butterscotchy maybe even like caramel corn a little bit and then you just add like that bit of burning wood on top of that. This is just very nice, you guys. This is very nice as well. Amir Al Oud, I'm sorry you got that one is just not in the same ballpark. Okay. So with that being said, I hope if you guys do have this, okay, maybe you have this, maybe you have the small bottle just like me. This is a 30 ml. Okay. This thing probably still costs like 70 bucks. Okay. Maybe you have this. You want to save it for special occasions. Maybe you want to, you know, not spray it so much. Then you go get this. Now, it's not going to smell similar. It's going to give you those similar vibes. But, man, if you like that sweet, butterscotchy, caramelly smell that creeps through a little bit more than this one. Again, this one is more of like that woody, that burning wood sensation creeps through first, okay? Man, you can't go wrong. And, honestly, I think I'm going to try to I'm gonna try to scream for the wife to come real quick just to see what she thinks. Uh, but, uh, wife, babe. You come here quick. So we will see what she thinks. Um, and then we will cut this video out. Okay, so um, now these are both. These are like a clone of. Uh, well, that's a cute bottle. So this is a clone of this, supposedly. Okay, I'm going to spray this over your, your fresh spray. Those are both replicas? Well, one is a Middle Eastern. So this is the one of the most popular men's fragrances right here. It's called By the Campfire. Makes you think of a nice sitting by a campfire or maybe okay. sitting at the woods. The woods are. I like that one. So okay, now this is supposed to be a clone. I think it's different, but I think it smells better. What do you think? Or do you like the? Let me smell it. Or do you like the more woody one? Okay, I like that one. And then let me smell the other one. I do like that one better. So, again, this one, I think, it comes off a little sweeter than this one, okay? This one comes off just more woody, punch in the face, burning wood, okay? Now, babe, before you leave, one more. Smell this one. Just so people know that this, I don't even think this is close because before you can get this Amir one, this was considered the clone of that one, and people thought it was a really good one. I think they smell different. This one, this one kind of almost comes off fruity a little bit in the air. But uh, smell that one. This one's more 
smelled good. That one's not as sweet as the other two, but it smells good. Smell one more time. I like that. I smell that one. I like that one. That's my favorite so far. It did. Yeah, that one has toned down quite a bit. It's not as sweet as this one still. So like me personally, I like this one first, this one second, this one third. Okay. Um, I think the wife is probably going in that ballpark as well, right? This, whatever this one is on her hand she is likes my that favorite. One. So that is the Amir one, okay? This is the one that is supposed to be a clone, but it is slightly different, okay? It's going to give you that same ballpark, that same, you know, you could think of a campfire, but then think of just a little bit more of that sweet, caramelly, almost butterscotchy smell, which is very nice. Man, go check that out, that Amir. I like that one, man. Now, again... I'm not too sure what the longevity is on this one. The projection and stuff like that. We're just going based off of the smell. I know that some people say they have issues with by the fireplace. So, I mean, if you look at it, this is $34. This is like $70. This you can spray like 10 times. You spray this 10 times. Then you put it away for good for like the next two years. Because like, I don't want to go through all this that fast. So, get yourself one of these, okay? With that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Hopefully, you guys learned a little bit something. And hopefully, you guys all have a great week. With that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And if you guys did, hit the likes, comment, subscribe. And we'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.